okay now we can generate the meshes uh, to do that uh, double click model to open up uh, ANSYS mechanical and you can see our geometry is in here uh, for composite analysis strangely you have to pick a dummy thickness for your monocoque uh, not this uh, thickness doesn't mean that your monocoque is going to be that thick but it's just something that something reference that we're going off uh, before we do that let's change the unit to inches and let's give all the uh, surface body a thickness of point one. like I said this is just gonna be temporarily uh, you're going to change the thickness once you do a composite setup and then another thing uh, we need to do right now is generate the mesh um, normally I just use a auto mesh uh, for this geometry and uh, most of the time this is enough for our analysis so we generate so we right click mesh and then generate the mesh uh, if you think this mesh is too big uh, you can also refine it by insert a refinement so you just right click mesh insert and then refinement and in the refinement you want to select the geometry so just right click and select all and hit apply and then you want the mesh size to be twice as small so you can do refine factor of two and then if you update the uh, geometry and now you have a really a refined mesh like that now we before we put composite material on there we also want to attach these uh, suspension uh, links to the monocoque now to do that you, ha you have to use remote point function in ANSYST and uh, to do that first of all we need to generate a coordinate system first so go to coordinate system insert coordinate systems and uh, we can give it a name but right click rename we'll just do, do left side and then the geometry the coordinate geometry we want select the end of the suspension point remember you you can ch you need to change your selection filter to points so you want to click on this point right here and hit apply you're going to need this point when you create the remote point and then we want to create another one for the other side uh, rename this right side coordinate system once again we want to pick this point right here and hit apply after you create the coordinate system, um, right click on model, insert, remote point. Now for the remote point, so basically we want this is this is suspension link to connect to this surface right here. So we're going to create a point, a ball, spherical ball that's a part of this surface right here. So all we need to do is select geometry, we want to select uh, remember to change your selection filter to face we want to select this surface right here and hit apply and then since we're doing the left side we want to change the coordinate system to the left side and uh, we want uh, the point to be zeros so basically this point is right on this coordinate system that we just created and we want it rigidly connected to the monocoque and let's make this ball ray region big enough to uh, cover the point and also the uh, monocoque so I think 2.5 is good so basically you created a spherical ball right here that is part of uh, this monocoque surface and uh, then you want to join connect this suspension point this line body to this ball spherical ball right here 
So all you need to do is go to connections and then create uh, insert and then joint. Uh, for the reference, you want select this point reference point right here. So you need to change your selection filter to point and click this point right here. Hit apply. And then for the mobile point, you want to change this geometry selection to remote point. And then from the list, select the point that you just created. And now, you c like you can see, there's this color turns blue, so that means the suspension link is rigidly connected to this surface right now. Now, uh, let's create the uh, remote point for the other side. So the same thing, go to uh, right click on model, insert, uh, remote point, uh, and then for the second one, you want, once again, you want to select this surface, change the selection filter to face, apply, and then make sure change the coordinate system to right side and then the rest frame point should sit on the coordinate system and then for behavior one this rigid connection and then once again for the ball region 2.5 is big enough so basically c to cover this face and also this point right here and then let's join this so left click on right click on joint insert joint and then for the reference select this point right here the vertex of the suspension link hit apply and then for the mobile select the remote point from the remote list uh, we, you want to choose the second one so now this is also rigidly attached now we are ready to put the composite material onto uh, these surfaces.